Today, we are reading P Asks about the sky. From the early morning, Peter is full of questions. He is interested in everything. It is a good thing that Auntie Picture Book is looking after him because his parents are very busy and they haven't got the time to answer all of his questions. Mum works until late and Dad is away travelling, sometimes even a week at a time. Auntie Picture Book is always there for him. Today, she slept under his pillow. As soon as P, which is his nickname he goes by, opened his eyes and took one look at the sky, he had a lot of questions. Why is the sky blue? Hmm, Auntie Picture Book thought. I think that the sky is blue because, well, you see, because the sun's light travels and as it travels, it becomes blue. No way, P said. What kind of answer is that? That is silly. Do you think that someone pours a bucket of blue paint on the sunlight? Ridiculous. No, it's the truth. The sun sends all of the colours of the rainbow and then the air gets in the middle of it and makes it into one. Blue, P said excitedly. Yes, Peter, blue. I know that. I know that the sky is blue, but what you are saying is not true. In fact, it makes no sense at all. Where would the other colours disappear to? Do they run away to have fun in the space playground? Hmm. Auntie Picture Book considered this seriously. Maybe she really did get something mixed up among all those letters and pages, she thought. Isn't the sky blue because of the blue fish that jump out of the blue sea? Hmm. Not all the fish jump out and not all the fish are blue. But the sea is blue, isn't it? P continued his questioning. The sea is blue, Auntie Picture Book agreed. Are we sure that the sky isn't down and sea up? Can we swim in the sky and fly in the sea? Usually we do it the other way round, Auntie Picture Book replied. Hmm. P stopped for a second now. Why are the clouds white? Why to sheep? Why doesn't the sky make the clouds and the sheep blue? Did its colour run out? The sun gives the sky its colour, Picture Book answered. And who gives the sun its colour, P asked? The universe. And what colour is the universe? The star colour. That isn't a colour. I don't have a star colour in my pencil case. Why don't I have a star colour in my pencil case? You have yellow. So the universe is yellow? No. So what colour is it then? I give up, Auntie Picture Book sighed. You don't know everything. And what colour is it when you don't know? That's something you should know, since you don't know. Ah, oh, Auntie Picture Book didn't have an answer, but P continued. Come on, Auntie Picture Book, I'm waiting. What are you waiting for? The answers. And what colour are answers? The colour of the sky, the grass, the fire, or a mix? Are answers colourful, black and white? Do we have to keep them in a fridge so they don't go bad? Picture book, come on. What are you looking at? Answer me. I'm thinking. Picture book was trying to think of an answer. Hmm. You know what the real question is? The real question, Picture Book thought, like any of your questions were unreal, P, Picture Book thought to herself. Why doesn't rain have any colour when it falls down from the blue sky? Who wipes all the colour off of it? Who? P, it is time for you to get some food. Auntie Picture Book looked for a way out because she didn't know what else to tell him. Mum will be home from work soon. Wait a minute, called P. You didn't answer my questions. Who gives the sun its colour and why is the sky blue? Are the birds responsible for the blue colour? 
I think I saw one once carrying a bucket of paint in its beak. No, that must have been a stork carrying a baby in its basket. You, Auntie Picture Book, you are the least serious picture book in the world. Whatever I ask you, you have no clue. Oh, Auntie Picture Book was counting the seconds until Peter's mum would come home from work. She was getting tired from all the page turning and the questioning. Who is that? Peter heard the doorbell. It must be your mum, Picture Book smiled. Right, mum. I know, the sky is blue because my mum has blue eyes. That is why the sky is blue. Mum's eyes are blue. You can go to sleep now, Picture Book. Thank you for not answering any of my questions. Picture Book closed her last page exhaustedly, just like a tired child closing their eyes, and sank into a deep sleep. Only P wasn't tired, and he asked his mum from the doorstep, Mum, what are we eating today? <laughs>